Okay, I'm joking. Um, it's time for me to wash my hair. I got some issues going on. I got some, some dandruff up there, if you can see that. I got just some couple things going on. Um, what I like to do when it's time for me to wash my hair. It's only been five days since my last hair wash, so I don't want to straighten my hair again. Hair, I only put heat on my hair once a week max. Once a week max. Sometimes I like to stretch it in there, especially in the summer months. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, while I'm on camera, just come up with some different ways to try to protect it from having to do so much during the week. You know, it's five days. I have two more days to go um, on my blog on Hairlista. If you aren't my friend on Hairlista, you should be. I give away great things on there, great tips. You can see my progression a little better than here on YouTube. My name is Elisa Martin, E-L-I-S-S-A Martin. Go to add me on Hairlista. Um, so what I'm going to do today is we're going to come up with the bun style. I'm kind of doing this off, you know, I was going to do something else, but I kind of changed my mind. So, this is going to be it instead. I haven't really done this before because I haven't thought of it before. I don't know. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use this hair ties to do my bun. But until that's done, I'm going to use it to secure the rest of my hair back. What I'm going to do from here is a braid. No, just going to braid it. Well, actually a corn roll, I guess. I call it a braid, but I'm going to pull my hair through. And then this is just to add, you know, so my bun's just a little different. I'm not the best braider guy, so don't judge me. Okay. I'm put a bobby pin to secure it for right now. I told you this is kind of off the wall. Alright, normally, I'm not going to lie, I put my head down and put my hair up in a ponytail. So this ponytail doesn't look perfect. It's because I'm not dipped over, you know. I'm not trying to show you all that. So, I'm not going to do that. I guess it'll be... Just as easy if I do like this. <sighs> Man, it's time for me to dye my hair again if I'm going to make that move. Okay, I'm going to put this as far up my head as possible. I'm going to take oh shoot I'm gonna take my braid add it in doesn't have to be perfect pull through okay this is where well while I'm here I might as well take this and just bobby pin that down so it just doesn't look as harsh and then bobby pin down that braid again just so it's like a clear line and then what I'm gonna do is take a little piece um come through it I don't tease my hair but I do you know try to make some volume because I'm about to do a bun so Take this, twirl it under, spread it out, take you about the hen, stick it in. Yeah. Take you another piece.
So basically doing this part, guys, I'm just going through and pinning as I go, wrapping around my head. Just make sure I'm back combing to add some volume, and then I'm pinning. And I'm just going to keep going around my head now. Even though this one's kind of, some of them, some parts when you spread it out, they'll just kind of, you know, do their own thing and they'll, you don't really need it. And then some parts you're just really going to need it. So, I got that whole back part left. The back part to me is the easiest. Sometimes I don't tease this at all. I will today because that's what I've been doing the whole time. But, sometimes I don't tease that at all because I honestly don't care. I care about the part people are really going to look at. So... Of course he has. And don't forget about that kitchen, y'all. I had to get my hair cut back there for a drug test for my job. So it's short. Don't think that's breakage. It's still healthy. It's just growing out. So I'm going to go through and pin that up so that looks just as good and really smooth. So during this part, I'm just going to find parts I don't like, parts that are sticking out. I'm going to pull them out and recurl them under and re-add them onto the bun. I'm not trying to make it perfect. It just needs to be kind of smooth. I don't want anything sticking out that, you know, it's not supposed to be out that kind of defeats the purpose of the bun. Make sure you stretch out um, the hair in between the pins so that way it looks uniform instead of just big sections. Try to make it as smooth as the transition between bobby pins as possible. Don't go overboard. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just your, I don't feel like washing my hair today, stretching out, my hair being straight in style. Not a perfect style. I say don't make it perfect because I seem to try to make mine perfect and it takes forever to do. And this is it, guys. This is the final product. Let me know what you think. Feel free to leave me a video response or leave comments and make sure you subscribe. All right, bye. Just want to let you guys know when I get up to 50 subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway. It's going to be a hair product. It's going to be a great product. Just get me up to 50. Stop. Stop. Go to bed. Go to bed. Your mommy has to do a tutorial. Charlie, go to bed. Go to bed. Go. Uh-uh. Go to bed. Go to bed. Come here. Come here. Come that way. Come here. Oh, Charlie, go to bed.